are ready for that. Um, in actual fact, you know, I mean, some of the things that were presented in the African Charter is what we have already started doing um, in Zimbabwe, especially the the issue of the um, the promotion of women in local government. You know, uh, that is actually enshrined in the constitution in Zimbabwe. That you know, when we we need a 50-50. Um, percent in, in uh, all levels, not only in local government, but even in the private sector, um, you know, it, which has been dominated by men. So that even in local authorities, we are, we are advocating for that. No, I think the, the pillar, the three pillar program is, is quite a, a, a good program. That is if we are going to um, um, comply with, um, with the agenda and um, uh, especially of um, in capacity building, you know, in program, the, the issue of uh, advocacy and lobbying within the local authorities and um, also the, the issue of uh, looking at uh, the young people who are also aspiring to get into position of authority um, without actually looking much at the edge to say there should be an edge limit in as long as someone has actually done their O level like in Zimbabwe, that person can actually ascend to, to get to that. We need the, uh, an injection in of uh, financing in the capacity building because I think that is a crucial area where when a new councillor is elected into office, that person must be capacitated with the knowledge of the Urban Councils Act, the Rural District Councils Act, so that when that person um, before long, before that person um, stayed too long into the council, there should be an induction cause so that you capacitate, so that the person knows what is all about local government. So we need um, an assistance financially to actually be able to capacitate our people so that when you are in discussing about local government, the person knows that this is what is expected. And you know this is an elected person who should be seen to be delivering within the uh, uh, um, respective local authority. And uh, the people who elected that person will be expecting more than what that person is ex expecting to deliver. So. That aspect is very important, you know, capacity building. The situation in Zimbabwe is quite good. Um, we, we are quite happy that, you know, I mean, we, we, we our, most of our councillors are people who quickly understand and adopt um, to uh, new ideas. And um, we, we don't have much problems in our addressing our issues. But of course, like I've said earlier on, the financial aspect, you know, when that is the only thing that we need. But otherwise, you know, we, we, we have no problems with um, addressing most of these issues. And also the environment is quite conducive we don't get much political interference in um, executing our duties in local authorities. Of course, the, the, the central government um, directs us, you know, but um, there isn't much influence because we, we know we have uh, our own chambers where we make resolutions and policies as to guide us on the direction to take.
Yes, uh, the AfroCT is, um, is something that we, we are looking forward to and um, the fact that it is actually coming to Southern Africa, the fact that you know, I mean, it is coming to our neighboring country and, um, and, and so we are expecting you know, I mean, to, to host um, other regions, you know, I mean, from people from West Africa, from East Africa and so forth. And uh, um, as, um, as the southern part, we, you know, we are um, um, very good in, in, uh, in, in tourism, you know, um, tourism infrastructure. And so also at the same time, we're quite excited because we are marketing our region, you know, the southern region. So, and also the interaction, you know, I mean, the sharing of ideas um, that will come from other regions will probably boost us in the future.